Hey, this is Skylar, and today I'm going to talk about coping strategies. Well, these are my own coping strategies. For those of you who are new to my channel, I'm blind, and I'm autistic. I have Asperger's syndrome, and I also have a heart condition. Um, I have certain coping strategies that, well, let me start over. I was inspired by um, JDA. To do a video about my coping strategies how i personally self-regulate because i saw her video and some of her um coping strategies really don't work for me like for instance deep deep breathing does not work for me at all zero so here are my coping strategies um well, let's start with the emotions. Sometimes when I'm grumpy, like today I was grumpy because my brother forgot to leave the remote where I can find it. Remember, I'm blind. Uh, that kind of made me a little bit grumpy. So this morning to self-regulate, I'm actually sipping on one of my favorite plants, licorice, also known as Glyceriza glabra. That's the scientific name for licorice. The licorice plant is uh, Glyceriza glabra. Now, licorice tea is um, how I cope with having a grumpy day or like when I get home from the lab or, or as I like to call it, when I get home from the devil's chamber because I hate lab. Um, it's also how I deal with just feeling, you know, Having a bad dream, getting up from a bad dream, I'll instantly go and make me a cup of licorice tea or glyceriza glabra tea. Um, another way I like to deal with it, with being, uh, being grumpy is by listening to songs and stuff that have my favorite words in them. I have a hundred favorite words, so it would take me now until Jesus comes to tell you all of my favorite words. So I'm not even going to try it. Another way is to just have something soft to cry on. I have lots of that. Um, I have lots of stuffed animals and stuff in my room that I can cry on. And, you know, it's just soothing for me to have something to cuddle up to and cry at. Also, um, sometimes when I'm stressed... I get vacuum mouth, which means, vacuum mouth means I feel the need to, well, to suck on something, which is why I have this Gatorade uh, water bottle here. I don't know if you can see the logo on that, but that's, it's uh, the Gatorade bottle. And it, instead of having a lid, well, it does have a lid, but instead of having an ordinary lid, it has a valve. So if you look at the cap right here, you'll notice that it has a valve. So instead of drinking it, like, unscrewing the lid, instead of unscrewing the lid like I just did, what you would do is you would, you would take the lid off, you would fill this part up with water, up to as high as you want, and then to drink it, you would drink it out of this little hole right here. This little, it's like a little valve right here. And that satisfies my vacuum mouth and my need to suck. Um, but also in an appropriate way because it just looks like I'm drinking out of a Gatorade bottle, which I am. Another way I deal with just being stressed is I have I have a um, a massage belt. It's a it's a shiatsu belt, and it has these little rollers inside of it. That kind of feel like fists, kind of, and they rotate and they kind of knead at your back. Well. I have a, well, as I call it, I have a death zone in my lower back, which means 
when people touch that area, it relaxes me. Like, immediately, like, that fast. I call it a death zone. So, what, another way that I like to deal with stress is to put my shiatsu uh, massage belt on my lower back and just let it knead away at my little death zone. And it, it brings back, you know, it brings me to that state of relaxation. Another way that, you know, I deal with kind of stressful, like if I'm having a pa panic attack, which like sometimes when I get nervous, like really anxious about something, my chest starts hurting and I start getting like vertigo. When that happens, I usually rub Vicks Vapor Rub into my chest. I also have... I also do what's called slathering, which I made a video about slathering. Slathering is where you rub, like, lotion and stuff into your death zones, which is, your death zones, is, that's what I call parts of your body that, that relax you when you touch them, which obviously that's going to be different from person to person, because everybody's brain and body works differently, but, um, like, I have 12 death zones, so slathering is just, it's what I call it when you take, like, lotion. You can use lotion, you can use massage oil, you can use, um, even something like baby oil, glycerin even, and kind of rub it into your little death zones, wherever those are. I have 12 all over my body. Um... So, slathering is how I deal with stress sometimes in my room. Now, the lotions that I like to slather with are ones that have a woodsy smell to them because I like the smell of woods. And that's also another coping strategy of mine is to um, have a diff I have a diffuser that I did a video of, and you're going to have to see the watch the review of that. But what I do to deal with, you know, stress sometimes is put my pine essential oil into my diffuser and kind of get that woodsiness spread around. So those are some ideas of some coping strategies and you know any any anything that has my uh, favorite words in it would work like instantly like if somebody says one of my favorite words or if I'm listening to a song that has one of my favorite words in it, or like if I'm, you know, reading somebody's message, somebody, you know, some people send me text messages with my favorite words in them and it helps. Also, like, I like to put peppermint, peppermint, you know, stuff, or eucalyptus, on my lips, like I have some lip balms that are like peppermint, like Burt's Bees makes a lot of lip balms uh, and lipsticks that kind of have a, a peppermint flavor to them or a eucalyptus or something like that flavor to them and it's kind of tingly. So I kind of like that feeling. I also like it, you know, on my body, but I don't really have any lotions like that right now. Anyways, thank you.